Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Planet Unknown, which is a game all about, well, Earth has run out of stuff and we are trying to fill a planet with goodies so that everyone could come here instead. Sounds good, right? So this is a polyomino lane game where we have a lazy Susan that uh, rotates and based on which pieces are pointing at you, you get your choice of those. It's on Kickstarter right now. You, the link is in the description for the campaign page and you can go and check that out and see all the fancy stuff they've got going on there. This is just a prototype to give you an idea of what the final thing is going to be looking like. I recommend you turn on Klingon subtitles. If I've made any mistakes, they will hopefully be corrected there. And as always for the Kickstarter videos, I was paid to make this playthrough. So let's get started. This is a two-player game starring Little Glass Marty. And there, there is a, a, a fairly big difference for the two-player game. In the normal game, first player gets rotated turn by turn, but the first player decides which pieces are going to be facing them for that turn, and then everybody else gets whatever is facing them. So this game goes up to six players, and so you can see there are six different spokes that are pointing, hopefully, at uh, each player. So in this two-player game, it's going to be this one for me, this one for Marty. In the two-player game, that doesn't quite happen, and I've kind of given it a bit of a random startup now. Now, in the two-player game only, the first player does not get to pick which, uh, which thing is facing them. The wheel will basically rotate one space per turn. So you don't get just the choice of what you want, but you can see what's coming and try and form a plan because you're going to choose from one of two tiles available to you. You can see what's on top. You can see what your choice is going to be and hopefully do some planning. There is a planet goal in between each player of the game. And for two players, you, know, you can imagine one to the left of us, one to the right of us. We have uh, two goals in it. So this is worth some points at the end of the game. Uh, in this game, we have have the most rover squares on the edge of your planet. Now, rover squares are the red sections of tiles. So we want the most at the edge of our planets. And also have the largest single area of water, which is another type of tile. It's the blue type of tile. Uh, and uh, yeah, we want great big areas of those if we want. So to, if you win that goal, it's worth five medals. Medals are the points that uh, we are trying to win the most of. And if we tie, we get two each. So other ways of scoring points, we're going to be advancing up these tracks. There are points on those. Filling in rows and columns are worth points as well. Uh, more points the longer the row or column is, starting from one for these tiny ones to three for the biggest ones. You get a point for collecting life pods. We'll get to that later. We can move our rovers around and collect those up. And we will hopefully be collecting meteors as well. And it's a medal for every three meteors that you get. And we might get some more points in some other ways as well. Let's get started then. So as the first player, I have the choice of these two tiles. So I have to start out at the edge of my planet, anywhere I like. And from then on, I have to build adjacent. Now, I will just mention this is kind of the, the basic form of the game. The, there is a set of identical planets and identical progress tracks that I've started the game with. The prototype does include the asymmetric player powers, but there's also going to be in the final game asymmetric planets as well. So we have different setups there. So what's going to happen is I will take a tile, place it on my planet. Each tile has two types on it and I will progress one space up the track for each type. There are a couple of uh, types that want special treatment, but largely you're just gonna go up the track and get some benefits from the different tracks. So this tile here has on it bio, which is green, and it also has sieve, which is black. Now sieve, the sieve track, is going to give me points as I progress up it, but also, each level I get to on the sieve track is going to give me a pick of these sieve cards, which can range from points to uh, immediate bonuses to uh, permanent powers. And so if I can get there first, I'll get the first pick of them as well. There's the number of players plus one for each level. And bio will also get you some medals, but gives you access to these bio tiles, which are single square tiles that can be essential for filling in those uh, little gaps that you'll end up with. This uh, smaller tile still has sieve on it, so I would just progress up the sieve track, but this has energy on it. 
Now, energy has to be touching something and you can progress up the track of anything that the energy section is touching. As it would be my first thing, it would only be touching sieve, so I would go up the sieve track twice, which I might want to do. This also has a meteor on it. You can see the meteor there. When I, If I take this and place it onto my planet, I also have to take a meteor and place it on that space. This means that the row and column that the meteor is in will not score at the end of the game even if I fill it up. But there are ways, once we get the rovers out, to take these meteors back off and they will stop blocking the scoring for the row and column and every three will be worth a point. So that's what I have to be thinking about there. I think, I think these single squares are going to be important. I like the idea of uh, starting on Civ and getting those powers. I am going to grab this. Now, I can place it anywhere. I can place it on these life pods here. Now, these are worth a medal each uh, where, if we can collect them by sending our rovers out once we get those. You can place on top of them, but they are crushed and destroyed, same as your rovers. So I, I don't want to you know, eliminate uh, the use of them straight away. I think, what if I got started there? Keeping it safe. So uh, it's at the edge of my planet, so I'm allowed to put it there to start with. I move up the bio track one space, and I move up the sieve track one space. No benefits as of yet, but that's all coming, hopefully, as we go along. Over to Marty. His choice. He's also got one that's sieve and energy, so no need to explain that. It's a nice little square. But this has uh, two fresh types, and I think... To be sure we're doing something completely different, Marty is going to start off with this one. So this one has, at the bottom, it's got tech. Now moving up the tech track, also worth some points as you progress up it, but we have these special powers for each tech level on our player boards. Starting over here, once you get to tech level one, you can put tiles anywhere instead of having to be adjacent to something you've already placed. Uh, in tech level two, when you get biomass tiles, you normally have to put them out straight away but uh, you can store them until the end of the game, until you really know where you need them most, plus one to your rover movement and all sorts of great things if you can progress up there. So that's what Marty's going to start off with. I think, what if he put it there? So he gets tech, one space, and he gets rover one space. So this is the other type. His rover can go on any space on the tile that he puts out. Maybe this would make him put the tile somewhere even better for purposes of getting one of these life pods straight away he doesn't want to just make a make a single space there we go what if we he does that and then he can put his rover there because later on moving up the rover track will give you rover movement points and you have to move orthogonally not diagonally uh, and when you move onto a space with a meteor or a life pod on it you collect it and you know you want to do that for points also there is a goal to have the most rover squares on the edge of your planet, and Marty has uh, pulled himself straight into the lead for that. So that is the end of the first turn. We rotate this one space. So on my turn, I've got the choice of... So just tech and rover, or water and rover. So we haven't seen water yet. The water track is you know, nothing particularly special in uh, powers or anything, but it's worth the most points for progressing up that track, up to 10 if you can get all the way. But to actually earn the progression, as well as placing the tile, a part of the tile has to be touching ice that's you know, printed onto the board. You can still place it elsewhere, but you won't get the movement up the water track. Now, either of these are going to give me a meteor, so I've got to think about that. And I have to build adjacent to this tile, so as much as I'd like it to be over here somewhere, can I even make it? So I, I could do something like I could do something like this actually, and still hit the water. But I, I, I would like the most for the rover to be touching the edge of the planet for this goal. But I don't think it would be the worst thing to to miss out on that. We could even do something like this. So I'm only. I'm only covering up one space, so I'll, I, I want to keep as much of it available as possible so I can keep progression in the future. So yeah, that's that would be a decent thing to do, I think. Or if I did feel like covering up more of it, I could get my rover right next to this life pod. No, I think we, we want to cover up as little as possible. So that's still adjacent to an existing tile, and I can put my rover down 
on any space on the tile itself. So right, we've got the rover track, I get my rover out, and let's put it on here, ready to collect this meteor whenever I move my rover, and I also get a water point. Marty has the civilization and energy that I had from before, so he could use that to copy rover or tech that's out there now, so that's something to think about. Or he can just get tech and bio. Either one comes with a meteor. I think he's going to go for the Civ and Energy. And he would like the Energy to copy Rover so he can start moving it around. But where does he... So the, the Energy has to be touching the Rover to be able to copy it. Yeah, he'll put it there. So the Meteor is going there. So he goes up the Civ track, doesn't get anything for his first thing, but he does get one Rover movement point. And so, does he want the rover to move? I think he's going to have it move. For the moment, he's going to have it move to the life pod, because that is just a straight-up point. Although, yeah, the meteor would be nice, because at the moment, he can't score that uh, column or row. So, that's both of us. Twist it again. And so, I have water and energy copying something, or rover and tech. So, I haven't progressed in tech at all. I've, although this is a really good way to keep getting a great big water area, isn't it, for that goal? And it can't hurt to just keep getting a load of uh, water points. I think I might try for some double water here. So I'm going to place it there. So water and the energy will copy water as well. It's on ice that's on the planet. So I get two water. So I've got my first medal there. That's going to be a point at the end of the game. And then I move up to this synergy space. This basically means I can move a space up any of the tracks. And actually, the next bio space is a synergy space, so I could have something else. I would like... I can see coming up. I haven't got Civ coming up. I really want Civ to, to come up so I can see what these powers are. I don't even know what's on the cards. So I'm going to go up Civ because I'm one space away from getting my level one card. Marty has the choice of tech which he did want to move towards, and Rover again, but a Meteor, and Water and Energy. And he hasn't got any water yet, and he does want to be competing for that, but that's just one water square, isn't it? And I've already got six, so maybe he just abandons that. I think he'd like to keep going with his tech. Oh, he can do. Now, he, he would really like to copy... Oh yeah, this is really good. So he can put it here, and then the meteor goes there, and when his rover does eventually get to this section, just in a nice clean row here, he can hoover up two meteors and a life pod. So, and this row already isn't scoring if he doesn't end up uh, getting the meteors back up. So he can go for so tech progression, and then the synergy here, so he could choose to go up tech again. And then he gets to place tiles anywhere rather than having to be adjacent. Yeah, he's going to do that. And then he gets rover, so he gets one more rover movement point. He's going to put himself back on here because he doesn't, you know, leaving the rover there, he could place a tile where the rover is, but it crushes the rover and he doesn't want to do that. Later on, you do get a second one as well, so you can work in different areas. But that rover is all ready to move. If you can get two... Level three here, it's quite a distance, but plus one to rover movement would mean that these two movements would get him straight across all of these things in one big go. I think, uh, yeah, that's, that's the way Marty's thing's shaking out. He's going for rovers. So over here, another great big water tile. So I, can, I could try and just lock all of this in and uh, just make sure Marty doesn't get any of it. Otherwise, I could have water and energy. Now, if I did take water and energy... Yeah, I'm not really in a position to copy. I really want to copy Civ so that I can uh, so I can see that card. But I think Rover and Water would be nice. What's the fewest water spaces I can get away with covering up? I'll put it down here because I can always just crush this and not score it. But I'm, I don't want to leave a a little one spot either. Oh, what about that? Oh, if only I could build not adjacent. That's a lovely little space for it. 
but I do have to build adjacent. So, oh, I could, uh, what about, does this work out? This, this water section here? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Still adjacent. So I do get the water progression. I've now earned two points. You earn the highest medal that you reached on each of the tracks. So I've earned an extra medal now. And then rover movement, one point. I will get this meteor. It's a third of the way to a point, and I don't have any meteors blocking my scoring now. Marty has got, you know, he can get some water and start getting in on this. Or, and it is rover movement, or does he, oh, he's going to go for this tech and rover movement, because he, he just wants that tech, doesn't he? So rover on the edge of the board. Oh, he could place it down here. That's quite nice. So yeah, that's, that's another rover on the edge of the board. I haven't got any on the edge of the board yet. So he is going to go up tech again. And then two rover movements. He's going to go one, two, and suck up both of these meteors and destroy everything he's worked hard to create in the process. So they will go over there for Marty. Twist again. And so I've got energy. So the wild card copy something and water, but with a with a price, it's it comes with a meteor. Actually, this one does as well. So bio, which I did start moving up, bio and sieve. Oh, sieve gets me the card, doesn't it? It's not even it's not even a choice. So where would I like the meteor to be? Knowing that my rover's right there. So if I put the meteor down here, it's gonna it's a long way before that gets taken away, isn't it? I could end up just putting it somewhere off to the side and hope I unlock my second one at some point and place that nearby. But I do like slotting all of this together nicely as well. Now, I'm going to go there. So, bio. Actually, I, I could leave a one square, couldn't I? Because I know that I'm getting one of... I know I'm getting a bio square to put down right away. So I don't really want to cover up water or anything. <laughs> yeah, now it comes to being able to place recklessly. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, so if I haven't got anywhere to place the biomass, do I want to grab that? Oh, I want the tactile though, don't I? Yeah, let's see what that is first. So go up the sieve. So the powers are advance any one track two spaces. Take a tile from the selection bay in front of you and place it, but do not advance. And, oh, we've seen that one. Advance two different tracks, one space each. I think I like track progression more than anything. So what would I like? I'd really like store biomass squares until the end of the game. I think I'm going to go for advance any one track, two spaces, and I'm going to progress sieve. So I've earned another medal there. And I'm one away from getting a level two card. So I take that away and the other two are going to be available for Marty. And then the other one was biomass. So I can slide that up as well. And I get a single square that I need to place immediately. So where's that going to go? It could end up awkward placing stuff in here. It could here as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't particularly need it do I? I could, I could just start trying to fill in this bit at the bottom here let's let's put it there maybe we'll end up having trouble putting stuff in this section yeah not not essential to have one of those marty though he's got his he's not got much of a choice really he's got water and energy but one of them has got a meteor on so he could avoid getting a meteor or if it fits in nicely enough he could keep up with this line or he could he is making a one gap and the line of meteor tiles can't continue. But yeah, he could have that in that way and start his water area off and he could even copy the tech. Oh yeah, he's going to do that. So, so he goes up on water, it's his first point of that. And then he's going to copy tech because it is adjacent and now he can store biomass squares if he gets them. And he needs a meteor to go on there. Twist the tiles. And so I've got water and energy or sieve and energy. Now, I absolutely want sieve and energy. 
because I'm only one point away, aren't I, from from getting another card? But then where am I gonna? There's no real, there's no really good place for for this. If I get another biomass, I can put it in this gap that I'm now making. Yeah, I'll put it there because like I don't know how much rover movement I'm gonna be doing. I could copy rover movement now, but it's only gonna move one space. And instead it could copy sieve and move twice. Or it could copy biomass and get me closer to getting another single square to cover up the gap that I'm making. I don't really want to cover water. I could I could put it here actually. Yeah, if I'm willing to give up this um this life pod, I could put it there. Yeah, and then get two sieve movements. So let's see what the level two cards are this game. So that's destroyed, not collected. So I'm not gonna get it points for it. And the cards are Collect two different life pods, take two square biomass tiles and place them, or advance any three tracks one space each. And it is a good opportunity to just keep moving water. Yeah, I think three tracks one space each. Or, oh, getting the life pods though, it does, it does mean I don't have to worry about crushing them and stuff. Oh, I'll drop them everywhere. <laughs> no, I'm going to go tracks. Three tracks one space each. And I'm going to go for Civ, of course, because that's got a synergy bonus on it. I'm going to go for Water, because, yeah, I don't know if I'll get all the way up there. And I think I would like, I'd like to be doing some tech and maybe get some of these. I'm probably not going to go all the way up here. At tech level 5, you're immune from meteor strikes. So I think that's where we're going to be going. This should have a meteor on it, shouldn't it? There'll be a subtitle about that. Okay. I think that's everything okay for there. Here we had three. Oh, I've got my synergy, haven't I? Shall I just put my synergy up there? And just keep going up that tech track? Or if we go up here, actually, I get another synergy bonus. And I'm going to put it in tech again, because now I can put tiles anywhere. So, uh, like Marty, I've got that ability. Okay, Marty's choice, he can have biomass, and he can save biomass squares, but he is right at the bottom of that track, and tech again, or water and energy. He's gonna, now he's got that empty square, maybe he wants biomass, and he can get another meteor. And we can place anywhere, but I do like this kind of progression of meteors if he's getting them, for a nice uh, path for his uh, rover. So a meteor can go there, he is covering up some water, but he's not as concerned about it. So he gets another tech, so that's a medal there. One away from plus one to rover movement, and then it's going to be great, isn't it? And then his first biomass point. Flip again. And so my choice is tech and rover, or bio and tech. And there is a meteor, and I'm not doing much moving. A tech and biomass is a nice combo, really, because it's, it's, it's getting me closer to being able to store the biomass squares. Is there a good place for me to put this tile? Not really. I could kind of have it off on its own up here. Somewhere, not, not covering up too much water or anything. Yeah, let's do that. Although the meteor again. Probably want the meteor around here. And then, yeah, I don't care about leaving a single gap, do I? Because I can hopefully get a biomass for it. Yeah. And then the meteor is vaguely close to here, if we finally do get the rover moving. So, biomass, I don't get anything new there. Tech, nothing new there, but one away from being able to store those biomass squares. Marty is water and energy, or sieve and energy. He's only moved up one on sieve. He does know that he's getting, you know, second choice out of everything now, because I've that's the one I've leapt ahead on the most. I think he can see that, you know, I haven't placed any water for a little bit. So maybe I'm getting a bit too comfortable in... You know, in my uh, water dominance, and Marty can uh, start trying to catch up. Oh, this one's got a meteor, and he could place it right next to here. Or oh, he's, yeah, he's he's committing to this plan, and he could even, you know, copy water with his energy if he did just want to move up the track. But he could copy tech by going here. Yeah, he's that's definitely what he's doing. He's putting the meteor there. Because look at this nice, uh, nice path here for the rover. So that's going there, he's copying, so he gets his medal for Civ, and then tech, plus one to rover movement, that's what he really wants. So, and there's rover tiles coming right up now, so I imagine that's what he's going to be taking. 
Okay, so I've got tech and rover, and I should be trying to get some rover on the edge of my planet. Marty's only got one, two, three, four right now. You know, it's I could I could I could get two now, surely. If I've put these on the edge. And then I'm getting tech, which lets me store the biomass squares. But at the same time, I could get myself two water here. And it could even go off here in this nice little space. Like there, it it kind of it does cut off the water area. But it can be expanded here and here. Yeah, I'm going to go for water, and I haven't got much choice. I've got to copy water with the energy. So two spaces up here. I've now got three points on the water track, and a synergy bonus, so I can move up to something else. Ooh, it's tempting to do sieve, because, yeah, the next one I could choose, I could choose bio and tech in my next choice. So I think I'm going to take sieve on the synergy bonus. And then Marty, does he want water and rover or tech and rover? Tech is his thing. Yeah, I think he's going to keep trying to chase that. But, oh, but this, though, if he could get it, there must be a nice place for this on the edge. He, could, he can get two more squares on the edge by doing this. No, he's comfortably in the lead. He's going to go for Tech and Rover, and it doesn't have to. He's, we're, we're still all building a Jason. We don't have to be. So where would he like this? Just on the edge, really. He could, he could have it going up there. There we go. Rover's on the edge, and he's going to get... Two plus one, three rover movement. One, two, three. So he's grabbed himself a life pod and a meteor. And then tech for the other one. He's two away from double water progress from tile placement. So he could get up to there and then shift his focus to trying to fill up the water. Although he's got a bit of a narrow path up here now. Okay, twist again. And what have we got? Rover and water. Or, I was already thinking, wasn't I, of, of tech and biomass. Although this one would keep my water going. It's a meteor that I can't really deal with, though. Well, either one comes with a meteor. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the original plan. If I can get this back on the little peg. And I, I'm going to go for biomass and tech. So, you know, some places that this could go. I'm worried that this is going to end up being a place where I need loads of, bio, of biomass tiles to fill it up with. I could go there, and that's, that's you know, putting the meteor quite close to the others. So, tech, I can store biomass squares. Biomass, I'm one away from getting a new one. Marty hasn't got much choice. It's tech and rover. But I think... Think. I think if he takes this one, he can get two on the edge here. He, I know he doesn't have to build a Jason, but it just it fits quite nicely over here. Oh, he's got another square that's just empty on its own. Probably overlooked that one because it had the life pod on it. But yeah, he can go there. That's two more on the edge, isn't it? So tech close to doubling water progress. Rover. He gets three more movement, and he gets to place this down. Ah, 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 so maybe he does want the tile somewhere else, so that his rover is kind of off on its own and can get roving. I could have it up there, maybe? Yeah, so he gets three rover movements, and he could, you know, just clear the life pot off for two of them. One, two, just so nothing will get crushed. And then three, because these aren't going anywhere, are they? But at the, by the same token, he could go, he could leave that where it was and just go one, two, three. His rover is in the way, but once that's moved, he can keep collecting stuff. So he's got five meteors and three life pods right now. Twist again. And so I've got water and energy, two different kinds of that. I think oh, I'm going for small tiles, really, which I don't. I don't particularly intend to do that, but that would be two water progression, and it's carrying on the water area by another square. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. So I've got four points on water right now. Marty's choice is rover and either water or tech. Both come with meteors, which he isn't too bothered about, is he? He quite likes collecting these meteors, and he doesn't really want to get water until he doubles the progress. So he's going to go for this. So it's uh, Rover and Tech, and it can go there, and then Rover's on the edge. 
So then the meteor's off here where he doesn't particularly want it. You put it there, and then Rover's still on the edge, but then he's made another single square. What about that? And then the meteor is vaguely close to a rover. There we go, so three rover movements, and he will he'll go for one, two, three, stop moving that one towards this area and hopefully build up some some ro some meteors and things over there for it to collect. And now he has the tech, so double water progress from tile placement. We keep going, by the way, until someone is unable to place something on their planet. So we need to turn it around again. I can go for water and energy. Or sieve. Oh, sieve and bio. Is a great combo, isn't it? And I could kind of sacrifice another life pod. <laughs> I'm not really in the business of collecting them. And so I get a biomass tile, which I can save now until the end. And put it where I really need it, although it's probably there. And let's stick that up there. And then I get Civ. I can look at the level three cards. And they are advance three tracks, one space each again. Three medals, so just three straight points for the end. Or take a tile from in front of you and place it. They've each got a meteor on, so I don't particularly want them. Although I could, I could, I could start progressing up, you know, rover or something. Three tracks, one space each. Yeah, I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to go for trying to steam up these tracks. So I'm going to go up sieve because it gives me a synergy bonus, and let's use the synergy bonus to go up tech. And then I'll choose to go up tech as my second track. So now I've got plus one to rover movement, and the third track I will. An extra point for water, but I will start doing rover. So I've got two two uh, movement points for my rover. I'm going to go. I will be a bit useful, and I'll go down and collect a life pod for a change. And so now it's going to be a couple of turns until I can do it. But I might start getting rover now and try to catch up on this stuff. Marty has got water and energy, or biomass and tech. And tech always wakes Marty up, but he doesn't particularly care about being immune from mete meteor strikes because. He's collecting them so easily. He could, like I think this would fit. It would fit quite nicely that way, but he wouldn't be getting a big water area. Or he could just leave a gap for biomass, but then that's not making a big water area either. Or on the other hand, he could go biomass and tech. He could just have that on the end there. So biomass has got a synergy on it. Tech. And... So what will he do with his synergy bonus? He will go for Civ and see what these cards are. And I hope I've left over something uh, good enough. So we've got take a tile and don't get any progression. Two different tracks, one space each. He'll go for that. So two tracks, one space each. He will go up tech because it gives synergy. And he'll use that synergy. Yeah, maybe he'll go up water. Well, no, he can go up biomass and he will save the piece till the end. Because although he knows where single gaps are, there might be something, there might be, you know, the three-point row might just have one space in it and it's better to fill that up than the one-point row. So that was just moving up there and getting a synergy bonus. And then he can move up another separate track. He could start on his rover. That's three points. One, two, three. And that's... Five out of six life pods collected. And later on, this one's got a synergy bonus on it. This one's got two medals at the top, five medals, and four movement points as you get up there. And normally, the other tracks, once you've got to the top of them, that's just it. You don't get any more benefit from taking tiles of that type. The rover has got a little thing on it to show that you get four movement for all the ones you do in the future. You don't ever get any more medals or anything for it, but yeah, you will, ste you will keep moving your rover about. Okay then, so next turn. Biomass and sieve, or energy and water for me. I do like the way this fits in. I don't particularly need to keep boosting my, uh, my water area because I've, I think I've done that quite effectively already. Like Marty isn't competing for that in the same way that I haven't really competed for Rover. So I will get water, and then for the other one I can copy Rover, Biomass or Water. I think I'll go for water. I want those 10 points. I want to get all the way up there. Marty, he can have sieve and energy, copy something, or water 
and energy. And he is in a better position with water now, isn't he? And he wants some good old-fashioned meteors out again. Where would be a good place to put this? So anywhere with water. So water is right here. Can even make it so the meteor is right next to this other one. Yeah, he's going to place it like that. But it does mean that he's going to have to copy water. Could put it off to the side. Yeah, I think that's okay. He'll just copy water because he doubles water progress. So he gets one, two, three, four movement on water and a synergy bonus. And he needs a meteor. So for synergy, he's going to go rover and he's going to go one, two, three. Get both of those meteors. Oh no. And then four, just to get this rover off the open space so he can place things in there. Okay. Twist. And I was thinking about going for rover, wasn't I? And I can even try for. No, I want them on the edge, don't I? Go for something like that. And then water is on water. So even better. It doesn't link up to this area, but I think I'm fine for that. So yeah, I'll go for, so let's do rover first. So that gives me three rover points. One, two, three. And then water, which gives me synergy. So I could do rover again. Yeah, I'm going to do rover again. What do I want to do? No, I'll, I'll save rover. I want to do, I want to do save. Let's see what these level four cards are. Marty can either do, well, he's got no choice. He's got bio and Civ coming his way. So what would be the best tile to take? He could try. What about this one? That's not a bad positioning for that. So one Civ, one bio. Doesn't get anything from it in particular just yet. But hey, all progression is good progression, right? Twist. I want to be thinking about Rover. But I do want Civ. So Civ and Biomass. Tech I'm not too bothered about. Rover I am. I've got this nice little free area now, haven't I? Oh, I, I like I like this just for its filling up space better. So Biomass and Tech doesn't get me anything right now. Marty, Water and Energy. Or bio and tech he always wants to go for tech either come with meteors which is fine by marty what if he oh he just he doubles the water progress as well doesn't he and he's he's actually running out of uh water spaces to put these things down on yeah he'll go for water and energy and if we assume he gets some more biomass maybe he'd want to leave that spare i think so he could get the life pod and the meteors next to it it's on water there. It's a shame there's not space there. That wouldn't be on water. That would be leaving two single gaps. That would just be that would be leaving a three gap, which is more fillable. Although it, you have to wait for this to come all the way around again, or he could just give up on that last. Yeah, Marty is going to give up on the last life pod. So he gets. He wants it to be that way around. The water wants to be on there, so he gets. He wouldn't get water progression though, would he? Because this isn't on water that bit out so water progress is doubled so one two three four and the synergy he's just gone past there i think he'll go towards another biomass tile okay let's twist so i've got rover so it's meteor either way for me but i can you know if i put the little l one here there's a two coming up rover's not too far away but the rover's dealing with these meteors and it would be nice. It's another sieve. And then copying something else. It could copy like biomass. Which don't know really how many turns are left. They're looking kind of full. It depends on the size of tiles we take. Yeah, let's continue up the water track. And meteors. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, I would like rover on the edge, wouldn't I? That's leaving a single gap. But really, I haven't done the aisle, so it doesn't matter quite as much. And hopefully I'll get some biomass at some point yeah yeah let's do that so rover and water so rover i get three points with i'm just gonna go one two three 
and grab this life pod and this meteor. And so that's perfect spot for a biomass because that's a two point uh, row there. And then water, seven points now. Two more water and I've got ten. And then Marty can have sieve and energy or rover and tech. I think he's going to go for more for the shape. He's going to go for sieve and energy. And if he puts the energy over here, he can copy. Actually, he would copy the rover. Yeah, he can, he can just copy the, the sieve, I think. He doesn't need rover as much because he hasn't got stuff out to fill it up with. Although well, this should have a meteor on it. There we go. Remember to keep up. Okay, so Marty's got. I've forgotten what I left. Collect two life pods, take two squ square biomass tiles and place them. I think... Yeah, biomass. He hasn't got any life pods left, so he'll go for biomass. And I've, I've, I'm not sure if he would be allowed to save them. The card did say immediately. But either way, he knows that these would be nice spaces for two, so he's still got his one saved there for later, should he need it. But there we go. That's a load of rows just all filled in now. Twist. And so I can have water either way. Water and energy, which could be good. I could copy some biomass or water and rover. Yeah, putting rover on the edge of the board maybe and collect some more of these. Meteors. And speaking of which, I need a meteor up here, don't I? Yeah, I don't think it would be a bad idea. If I get it on, so oh, I could put it on. I do want it on the edge of the planet, don't I? I could clear off this life pod, and uh, yeah, then rover is on the edge of the planet again, and the water is on water. So water one away now, and rover gets me three rover movement, but my second. Uh, rover out which has to go on this tile unfortunately but three rover movement i think i will still spend on this one one two three and grab this meteor up because that is a complete row and now i've got a point from all the meters marty rover and water or sieve and energy now it does like having all of the water progression and that's quite nice if he can you know his biomass could go there if it needs to because the water's on water so that's two more progression, five points. And Rover has got a synergy bonus on it as well. So four Rover movements. Which one's closer? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. It <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, one, two, three, four. And Synergy. You can even move it again. Synergy, he will go for... Water, because that's another synergy bonus. And he will go for biomass. He's got another one to place at the end of the game there. Twist. And so I do, I would like water. I would like sieve though to see what the last thing is, but it is, it has got a meteor on it. But there's a meteor here that I want to grab. Oh, and I could. This is good for rows and columns here. Yeah, let's, oh, this. It's not quite like where I would like the meteor. But that's, that's doing two rows right there. That's two points. But this one here, closer to doing this row, this, this column here, and this has done a row, but it can't copy anything useful. Oh, it can copy, copy sieve. Yeah, so that's, that's two sieve, isn't it? So two sieve, I'm getting my, I've got five points on there now. I'm getting my level four card in a second. But there, it does mean there's a meteor all the way down here, and how's anything ever going to get to it? So yeah, I'll, I'll put it up here. Could even go for that, make it easier to collect, and maybe we'll go all the way back around to get that little size two tile, or maybe I'll get biomass to go in there. And it means that I could I could get one sieve, and I could even copy rover if I want. Yeah, let's copy rover, because the meteor would go on there. I've got three movement, though. One, two, three. And so that's two more meteors collected. I definitely want that collected before the end of the game. That's a three-point row. So Rover and look at the Civ card. So we have remove any three meteors. Oh, I should have saved it and waited for that. Take three square biomass tiles and place them. Your biomass squares are worth a point each. 
I kind of think I don't want to really leave that for Marty because I know he's already got four points out of it. And there's a load of biomass coming. I'm going to take that and really try and do biomass, I think. Yeah, I'm going to take a, a point for each biomass tile. Okay, Marty. He's got water and energy or just some uh, biomass and tech. But he can kind of... I think this... Fits in nicely here. He wouldn't get the progression for the water tile itself, but he would get it for the energy tile copying it, if that's what he wanted to do. We we'll put it up there, and but then he's hoping that the single thing comes back around. If we'll I place it there, and he's leaving a, a single gap and a two-sized gap, there is really nice for just filling up. But yeah, he does only get one. progression out of his tiles. Maybe he'll leave that. And just go for smaller again, and it's got a meteor on it. And Marty always likes them. Yeah, he'll just go for this. So, meteor there. And so that's sieve and biomass. Nothing new coming on there just yet. Twist! I've got some, I can get some more rover and some tech. I, I don't think... So far away from me needing any tech, though. And biomass is way more attractive, isn't it? And I've got one more space to move up Civ, so I think this all works out quite nicely. So I think I'm happy to leave one space there, hoping that I get some more biomass squares. So biomass and Civ, so I'm, can I get the points now? Marty, water and energy, Civ and energy. Now he does just want a bit more water progression so that he can get to the top of that and get 10 points. But then thinking about filling up his board, this fills in a nice gap. And he can still go towards... See, that's a synergy bonus. And he will... Yeah, he'll go for water on there. Because if he does get a water tile now before the end, or energy or something, he's only two away from the top. And then his energy can copy sieve, tech, or biomass. I think he'll go for sieve. Twist. And so both do the same, they're just different shapes. I think this would end up being a pain to place. Unless I placed it there, I think this is going to be more useful. Although I really don't need tech to do it. I haven't got any choice. It gives me a meteor, though. Maybe I go for this. I've still got openings for stuff. But it would mean I definitely couldn't take the size 4 tile next time. Yeah, maybe... Try and keep it simple. Try and put the Meteor... Put the Meteor here and get some Rover <laughs> moving. So that is... Biomass. And... Oh, yeah, tech, that isn't once. But it'll be okay. The biomass is worth points, isn't it? And then Marty, rover and tech, or biomass and tech? I think rover, he's got stuff to pick up, hasn't he? And where can we place this? There might be okay, but you've got to think now. There, there isn't much time left. You want to... Even if you're leaving gaps and stuff, you want to try and get as many rows and columns and things as you can. He's going to place... Oh, and he's got a meteor... He's placing a meteor by taking this. It would be nice if it was as close as possible for one of these rovers to come and pick up. So what if you put it there? Put that in. So he gets tech. So he's got a, a medal from doing that. And then rover. He's got four... Movement, so he's going to go one, two, three, four, to get this one. How many has he collected at this point? Two, four, six, eight, nine. So that's good. That's uh, every three is a point. You kind of want that. Twist. And I have left a, a four size gap for this, but I also, I, I specifically wanted. Biomass. But then if I want to get these things up, there isn't Rover coming for a while. 
So I think I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'm not right next to a... Oh, oh, but... I could get the biomass and then move up the rover track. And then maybe use energy to copy... But no, no, no. Let's go for the rover. But then I'm, then I'm getting tech, which I don't care about. But the, this is giving me, giving me a meteor. And potentially filling up my board for these awkward pieces that are coming. Where can the meteor go? It has to go there. Because that fills that up, but then puts a meteor right in it. Oh, let's do it. But I don't need sieve either. Oh. Okay, we're going to go for this one. Let's put the rover on the outside. So I get uh, that benefit for it. So, tech that I don't particularly care about. Rover is worth a point as well now. There's a medal on there. So, three rover movements. I think we'll go one, two, three. Ready to pick up that next one. Marty has got biomass and tech. Maybe he'd like to be immune from meteors now. Or does he want to put another meteor down and move his rover again? It is more points if he puts his rover down. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna grab that and put it there. So he gets so he gets tech, so he's immune from meteor strikes. It does say future meteor strikes, so I think he still gets this one. And then meteor, which he gets four movement for. One, two, three, four. Ready to collect with another with another rover movement. So I've got this one. I I pretty sure I can't place. So I don't think I can grab that one. So my choice is made for me. Unfortunately, I'm getting a meteor out of it. So kind of look at what's coming. There's a, there's a size two which I can fit easily in there. There's the you know, the the Tetris S that will fit nicely over here. But then there's that great big L that'll fit nicely there. But then there's the meteor itself. I want it to be copy. I, I wanted it to be copying biomass, but I've kind of blocked all of that off, and I don't need sieve. Putting it there is kind of the worst of both worlds. Okay, I'll, I'm going to put it there because it is close to this rover, kind of. Yeah, let's do that, Marty. Can still fit most things in, I think. Maybe he'll take the size 4 so he can copy the rover. Yeah, and he gets Civ. Oh, and that is a card, and he doesn't have to take the Meteor. Yeah, he'll get 5 rover points. But I think, what if, what if he looks at the card first? So, uh, take a tile from... Take a tile and place it, or 3 medals. Could he get benefit from taking... Tiles? I don't think he wants another tile. He'll, he'll take 3 points. And then, 5 rover movements. So one, two, three. Uh, four, five. There we go. So he's got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Oh no, he needed one more. He'll be okay. They're all off there to to so they won't prevent him from scoring. Next one. I want this one, whatever it does, don't I really? And I'm not getting any water. But the energy that's copying the water doesn't have to be on water for it to score. But do I want to copy, like, Rover instead? It's three points for getting the water. But Rover could potentially make these big things score. Now, I'm, I'm going to... Let's just pop that there. It makes my water area even bigger, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so I get a water point. Marty could actually place this tile, I think. Yeah. He'll be leaving behind some wands. He'd get the water progress. He wouldn't. He wouldn't get the water progression, would he? He would from energy copying it if that's what he wanted, or maybe he wants say sieve and energy to be copying something. What's coming next? The size two. He probably wants to go there. Is there something nice he could be copying though? He can copy sieve and try and race up there, or he can copy tech. He'll place it like that. So he goes up sieve and he's got a synergy. And the synergy he'll try on biomass. 
and then he will copy tech. Put that up there and get the points. Twist. We've got to the very end now. I... Oh, I have got space for either of these things. But I don't really want water. Copying something might be nice. But I think I did want Rover, most of all. Yeah. Tech is not useful. Let's put that there. So I'm not going to be able to place anything next turn, am I? So the game is going to be ending. Whichever one I took. The life pod is destroyed. I get tech and rover, which is four rover movements. And so this one is stopping me from scoring a point. Maybe three points. But this one... Well, actually, this one's blocking the row as well, isn't it? So... This column's worth more, so I'm going to have it go one, two, three, four, and pick this fella up. How many have I got? Three, six, seven. And then Marty uh, wants this one, if only to fill in a nice gap in the rows and columns that are worth a lot. So biomass, he's going to get another tile. And... Save puts him closer to maybe the level four cards. And so now we know this is going to be the last turn of the game. I can't legally place a tile from the two that are available to me. I still get to take a tile and I get the progression as if I had uh, placed it out here. And really, that gives me very little choice, doesn't it? <laughs> because uh, my, my choice is tech and uh, biomass. So tech gets me absolutely nothing. Biomass gives me synergy. And so I think the best thing to do is to just grab another... Oh, actually, I could get rover and synergy. So that's four rover movements. I only really need to get this one. One, two, three, four. And then I'll use the synergy to get biomass. And I'm not going to completely fill my planet, but I think it's going to have like one square empty. Okay, Marty left a nice gap for this. And although he doesn't need tech, but he <laughs> does really like the shape of this piece. It's biomass, which is going to give him synergy. Tech he's already at the top of. And so he probably wants the synergy to be a biomass tile, because then he is going to fill his planet. Yeah. Maybe things could have gone a bit differently, but yeah, he can... He can place these in now. He's got no meteors and a completely full planet, so he's going to get extra points from that. So will my stuff make up for that? Yeah, he's, he's filled it, hasn't he? Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. And then for me, I actually have to think about it because of the points. So these rows are two points each, and this column is three points. So I think I absolutely want to fill that up. Here... I would be getting a three-point column and a one-point row, so four points. And this one is two-point and one-point, so there are only three points up there, so I think that wants to go there. Okay, then, so it's time for some final scoring. Let's get the lazy Susan out of the way. Thank you, Susan. And let's get this high-tech score sheet going. Hopefully that's showing up all nicely on the camera. So medals or points, this is where we are scoring medals. So medals for every complete row and column of your planet, as long as it doesn't have meteors on it. So I think we could work out the most and then take away the three that I'm missing. So a full planet like Marty's, and it is full, isn't it? Yeah, his, his rovers aren't covering up empty spaces or anything. I haven't missed a space. Wow. So it's one, two, three, five, seven, 10, 13, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 25, 27, 33, 35, 37, 38, 39, 40 points for Marty, and 37 for me. Then the largest medal that you are on for each track, so for Marty, that's 3 plus 7, so 10, 12, 14, 19 more, so it would be on 59. And for me, I've got 5... 10, so 15, 17, 18, 19. So it'll put me on 56. A medal for each life pod you collected. 2, 4, 5 for Marty. 3, 4, 5. Uh, just 2 for me. 
So 64 to 58. Then it's a medal for every three meteors. So that's one, two, three for Marty. And one, two for me. One more meteor I needed. So, so did Marty there. And then it's sieve cards with medals on them. So my biomass tiles are worth a point each. I've got one, two, three, four. Uh, I think that should be right. Yeah, I didn't get any from cards, so it's four for me. Marty just gets three straight up medals and he didn't have to do anything for it. I left that behind. <laughs> so it might not have been the best idea. And then finally, the winner of each planet goal. So, the most river squares, the most rover squares on the edge of your planet. I was worried then they're called water squares, not river squares. <laughs> I thought I'd done it all wrong. So, rover squares on the edge of your planet. I have got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually, that wouldn't be, that probably wouldn't be the edge, would it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Marty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I should have paid attention to that. Surely I could have gotten one more out there. Maybe not, though. Space was getting tight, wasn't it? So Marty wins that. Uh, have the most rovers. I'm definitely winning the, the water one, though, aren't I? So the space isn't actually changing by any. So Marty gets five for that. I get five for this. So the final score is 75 to 69. So, yeah, Marty, just, just filling that up. You can see he did a much better job of it. But there we go. This is just to give you an idea of the game. As I mentioned, it's on Kickstarter right now. You can go and check out the campaign. If I have piqued your interest, if you'd like to know what I think about the game, then that is coming up on the screen shortly or it's in the description now. Thank you very much for watching, though. There are hundreds of other playthroughs on this channel if you would like to see more. And it's kept going by my Patreon campaign. If you would like to check that out, that's in the description as well. You get to vote on videos and all sorts of cool things. Thank you so much to everyone that is a patron. And thank you for watching this video. I will go and make another one now. Bye, everyone.